My name is Aisha Khan and I'm an assistant professor in the Faculty of Science and I started the idea of Mac Engaged pretty much around the time that I joined McMaster University. So the McPherson Institute was having an all-day event for incoming uh, faculty members and we had Patrick Dean who came in and he spoke about his wonderful letter for Lib Integrity and I was really intrigued by the idea because it was my first introduction to um, the way that McMaster was envisioning itself uh, for the next uh, upcoming years. And so Patrick Bean talked about the idea that um, as a leader in research, uh, McMaster should continue focus, uh, its focus on uh, research and innovation. At the same time, we also have to think about the communities that we interact with on a regular basis. And so I was introduced to the idea of community-engaged education. And so in the winter of 2014, I was starting to teach a course, uh, Basic and Clinical Neuroscience, and I thought, why not infuse some element of community engagement so that the students that are enrolled in this course can have some sort of a connection with the Letter Forward with Integrity. The students that I was working with said, don't just call this a community engagement assignment. It's getting us to engage with the community in a really meaningful way. So we don't want it to be an assignment worth 20% of our course grade, call it something. And so I collaborated with students and we came up with a name, Mac Engaged. It's getting McMaster students engaged with their community using content that they're learning about in the course and then using that content for producing some type of public good. The kinds of projects that came out of Mac Engaged in the second year clinical neuroscience course were amazing. Uh, we're Sleepless in McMaster. Our project is geared towards university students to talk about the psychological and physical um, consequences of sleep deprivation in students and how that affects their cognitive abilities, vision, hearing, concentration, etc. Um, the implications that it has on students and um, what they can do to deter away from those consequences. There was a lot of innovation that came out of Mac Engaged as well. So currently we have a team that thought of these special glasses which are meant to decrease the light sensitivity that many people who have concussions experience. And they're working with Milo right now to develop a patent for those uh, glasses that they created through their Mac Engaged project. So it's very gratifying to see the kind of innovation that's coming out of these projects. And in particular, this innovation and this ingenuity is happening in students that are enrolled in a second year course. So the peer mentors are a group of phenomenal undergraduate students who have completed their own Mac Engage projects and then come back the following year to offer assistance to current Mac Engage students and they essentially provide mentorship. So hi, I'm Melissa and I'm in fourth year PNB um, and I'm one of the peer mentors for uh, Mac Engaged. Um, so being a peer mentor is meant to be just like, it's been a really great experience to meet students in um, other cohorts of the program as well as a wide variety of programs and just be able to talk about their projects and hear what cool ideas they have is really great. Um, I think having been through the process myself last year, it was really awesome and I feel like I learned a lot and I think thinking back on like my own project I learned a lot of things and like there are things that obviously after having done it you would do differently and it's really great to be able to talk to students and be able to tell them hey I wish I had done this or I wish I had done that and it's a really it's really cool. Um, for me being a Mackey Age peer mentor is a great opportunity. Um, as someone who's worked in education a lot it gives me the opportunity to excite people about the field of neuroscience which is a field I'm particularly passionate about. I think People join this course and don't really know much about the project, but it's such a free project. People can really do whatever they want with it. And I think being able to help guide and give people advice on that, not only does it help them do the best that they can do, but it can also really excite them and make them like really excited to be at school for once. Because you don't get a lot of opportunities for people to just be excited about what they're learning about. What the peer mentors do is they volunteer their time. So each tutorial has roughly three to four peer mentors who are there to exclusively offer support. They're there to assist these Mac Engage students, uh, brainstorm ideas. They're there to provide ideas about resources 
or communities that these Mac Engage students can reach out to. And in particular, they're there to help the students realize that they can do it. It doesn't matter if they're in a second year course, they have the potential, they have the capability to come up with great ideas that can have important consequences in a positive way in the community that these students go ahead and uh, interact with. So through the Teaching and Learning Fellowship, what I've been able to do is create a project that helps me assess whether the students that are completing this Mac Engage project are developing in terms of their personal, professional, and more importantly, their civic development. So is there some sort of a change that's happening in terms of their expectations for uh, the course as well as their community engagement uh, experiences and whether those expectations are met towards the end of the course and more importantly is that experience of community engagement having some form of an impact on the student.